All right, guys, got the air compressor going, working on the car. You guys are uh, in for a treat if you hang around because I'm doing something a little bit different now. Plans have changed as always. Um, but coming over here to the air compressor, I've got my manifold here. It does the job. I have some crazy humid weather here in southeast Texas. So after about an hour of use, I probably drain about a cup and a half to two cups of water out of that guy. And over here, I made that desiccant air dryer. This is color changing gel, and that is orange to begin with. So what I did recently though, is uh, added some quick connects on the top and bottom, so that way I can easily just pop that off and uh, change it out. So I'm gonna have to do that now because um, my air pressure is actually lacking because that is so green and there's so much moisture in there. Um, after the initial burst of pulling the trigger on a tool, it uh, drops the PSI a significant amount. So we're gonna clean that out and uh, put some new in and see how it goes. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is obviously make sure the air pressure is released. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Oh, and I just dumped water all over the floor, but no air pressure in it. And I made a little hanger for this guy. So it's easy to pop off. And just like that, the tube comes out. So now I can just unscrew this, which I'll clamp it in the vise. And uh, since this is PVC, you don't want to clamp it down too tight, just tight enough that it won't swivel on you. While you're trying to unscrew it. So we're just gonna give it just a little bit of pressure there, enough to hold it. That'll work. Get a big wrench. And we'll just grab that sucker and give it a twist. This definitely makes it way easier to change because previously I just had it hard connected and uh, that made it way diff more difficult. So now I've got that desk and you can see it's nice and green and saturated. We're just going to pour that in a bucket and you can see how saturated it is. It's actually sticking. So, get as much of that out as possible. And for all of you naysayers on the PVC, keep in mind this is uh, schedule, I think for, no, schedule 80 PVC. So, um, it's not in sunlight, it's in the corner of the garage. I put my creeper around it in case it happens to pop, but um, it's held up so far so good. And, now, I think I'm going to dry this out just a little bit before I add the new. And then we'll throw some of this in here. Let's go ahead and open it up. But being so humid, it doesn't take that long for this to get saturated. As you can see in there, it's nice and orange. And then uh, when it gets saturated, turns green so you know to change it but uh, then with this we'll just spread it out on a baking sheet throw it in the oven for a little while put it on low heat like 250 put it in there for a few hours this will change back to orange throw it back in the bucket it'll be good to go for next time cool guys a couple more tips on this if you saw when I originally made it um, Got the little bungs and adapters so I can eventually get to my quick connect. Um, this um, hose clamp is just there because I made like a little hook. That way I can hook it on the wall back there. Now inside, this is pretty important. As you see, there's a screen. And since the 
air is coming from underneath and then going up through the tube, that screen helps keep the desiccant from going into your hose and clogging up your tools. And I've also got a water separator and filter after this just to catch any little particles so those don't go to the tools, especially when I get to painting. Now, since this is PVC, each time that you change it, you will want to change out your plumbing tape. So, as you can see there, I just take a little wire brush, real lightly just go inside the threads. That takes that PVC tape right off of there, or the Teflon tape, I guess is what it is. And uh, then you can put more on. And I'll do that on this one too, just because you want to get that Teflon tape off of there before um, putting on the new, obviously. Make sure you get a good airtight seal and there's no leaks. And uh, once you get some threads pulled out there, sometimes you can just pull it off, but we'll just scrape that all off. We'll get some new Teflon tape on there. Um, we'll pour some new deskin in and uh, button her up and we'll be ready to go. So it's a nice quick change out, especially with those little uh, coupler release things. I don't even know what they're called for the air tools. Since I put those on both ends, one on the bottom, one on the top, then uh, that definitely makes it way easier to get in and out because previously I had uh, just the hose going directly to uh, a screw nipple. Um, so it made it a lot harder because I had to basically twist up the hose so when I screwed it back in it would untwist the hose this way just click click and it's out and then if for some reason you don't want to use the desk in, you can always just have a little length of hose adapter plug it in in between and bypass this in fact it might be a good idea just do a little bypass with a ball valve so I can choose whether or not I need dry air. Got this old lampshade from a ceiling fan. Works as a perfect funnel. And we'll just pop the bucket of desk in there. A little piece of cardboard in there. And pour it back in. Now she's back full and back orange. Got the orange in there. I'll just throw some Teflon tape on, plug her back in. And now, hopefully, my grinder won't be bogging down because a lot more air can pass through here now that it's dry. Hey, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'm working on my way to 1,000. It's not going to hurt. Even if you just stop by just to see this video, go ahead and click subscribe. I appreciate it. Don't forget, make cool shit. Later. <laughs> That's a fancy skip you got there. <laughs> you can't even see it. <laughs> it's like you're walking on water. <laughs>